so hi um, somebody earlier was um, commenting on uh, not sure how they were tensioning the kickstart return spring on their um, 250 BSA C15 um, number one be very very careful this spring here is under tension um, notice the way the curve goes um, of the spring against this do not undo this there's a little uh, cam plate stop for the kickstart mechanism behind here never undo this or if you do just do it absolutely eighth quarter of a turn just enough to unclip this should this should this spring snap but um, I'm going to try and show you but please be very careful um, I'm a big bloke and uh, I don't do a manual job for a living um, so there are probably people out there with gorilla sized hands and fingers that don't have this problem but I'm going to show you um, essentially this winds round um, um, a hook here and you actually hook this indent um, into the hook here and you I'll just try and show you don't, I'm trying not to cover the video camera with my hands but you actually move it anti-clockwise and it sits um, in a profile on a cam here that marries up with this and um, I don't know whether I'm doing this right fellas and ladies but um, basically I wrestle against the power of the kickstart spring until it's approximately at the 12 o'clock position and it fits in and those flats align now even with your fingers um, you can feel that there's tension there uh, and there's tension on there and if you were to do a dry fit run with the kickstart bearing in mind you've got your cotter pin and your kickstart and you go on there and we put the we put the cotter pin in bearing in mind that this is only on the outer cover um, we can see straight away that um, uh, that kickstart is returning I don't really want to put the cotter pin on any further because for those that have done it you'll know that they can uh, misform when you uh, tap them down and tap them out um, I replace these um, every two or three times that I use them but that's the basics of the kickstart tension um, I'd say it was either a very brave man or somebody who probably wants to see the GP and get their drugs up rated that actually did that another 360 to get even more tension on that spring um, I think there's enough tension on that spring to take even a um, heavyweight C15 kickstart uh, and return it back to the 12 o'clock position anyway I hope this answers some people's questions and um, helps them understand the relationship between the anti-clockwise anti alignment of this curved part of this plate against the uh, the face of this kickstart shaft hope you enjoy the video and if you like these types of videos please think about subscribing to my video channel i do post uh, new videos every uh, every week or so thanks for watching